the Fish and Wildlife Service is partnering with several other agencies to uh, conserve the desert tortoise and restore habitat. The desert tortoise is Nevada's state reptile. The desert tortoise is a great umbrella species because desert tortoise habitat is kind of the typical habitat of the Mojave Desert. In the desert and their native habitat, since they create all these holes and, and burrows throughout the desert, a lot of other species use those for shelter and to get out of the heat. The habitat of the desert tortoise is usually on the lower bajadas or the slopes uh, coming off the mountains. Today we are out at one of the desert tortoise uh, research sites. It's called Coyote Springs. This project is designed to restore desert tortoise habitat that's been degraded by wildfires that happened back in 2005, 2006, so well over a decade ago and they just aren't recovering the way that we think they should. We're coming in with the herbicide to control first the invasive species of grass that are coming up. The exotic grasses are threats to the tortoise because one, they're not nutritious and when it dries out, it's very susceptible to burning. And then later on, people from the Park Service, from the BLM, from the USGS will come in and spread seed on top of the herbicide that we have applied to hopefully establish native plants in this area that has experienced wildfire. Red brome is certainly an invasive grass. It really moves into disturbed soil that provides soft uh, substrates for the, the seeds to get established. We mix the herbicide and put it in backpack sprayers and spray it on the ground in a nice even spray, avoiding native vegetation. We're targeting sort of the bare patches of ground where the invasive species of grass can come up. Once the herbicide is applied here in burned desert tortoise habitat, there's kind of a twofold purpose to that. One is reducing the reoccurrence of fire by getting rid of those non-native grasses. And the other thing is those non-native grasses are also very competitive with seedlings. And for desert tortoises, shrubs are very important for cover in the summer especially. And so we want to get those native shrubs reestablished. Once those are back on the landscape, we think they'll provide the shade and they'll provide the structure for tortoise burrows that are necessary to keep this endangered species going out here on the landscape. The Fish and Wildlife Service works with the Bureau of Land Management, the Park Service, and other land management agencies to manage the habitat for desert tortoises. And we work with USGS and other academic universities on some of the science and the ecology of desert tortoises. USGS, as the research agency of the Department of Interior, we help a lot with with doing research so that they can get the information to make decisions that are related to these species and help start to actually restore habitat. The desert tortoise is important to Southern Nevada for, for several reasons. It really has a right to, to be here and coexist. Who are we as humans to push species into extinction that have been you know here for millions of years before we were? We may not know exactly what all the the important things are that the, the tortoise does. We know a few of them, but I think we're better off making sure we protect it and keep it out here on the landscape just in case it's more important than we realize.